Another risk factor is age and gender. Coronary heart disease is more likely with increasing age. Um, it, also, it generally affects more men than women, but from the age of 50, the chances of developing coronary heart disease are similar for men and women. Um, about one in five men die from coronary heart disease, and about one in eight women die from coronary heart disease. Um, there are over 1.4 million men and around 850,000 women with coronary heart disease in the UK. Um, Asian gender are risk factors that can't be changed. Um, hereditary and high levels of blood pressure. Individuals with hereditary high levels of blood pressure are more prone to develop CHD. Um, high blood cholesterol levels can also lead to obesity, as mentioned earlier, which is another risk factor for coronary heart disease. Uh, the risk of CHD is increased if you have a male relative with CHD under 55 or a female relative under 65. Heredity is another risk factor that can't change. Um, this is some information about high blood pressure. So, uh, um, yeah. Um, so high blood pressure, which is hypertension, the strain in your heart, and that can lead to CHD because of what Rob mentioned earlier on service to your age. Over a quarter of adults in the UK have high blood pressure, and half of them are not receiving treatment. Diabetes can cause the lining of some of the blood vessels to become thicker, which restricts the blood flow to your heart, and you can also increase your blood pressure, increasing the risk of having the current uh, Reducing the risk, this is one individual. Uh, should do to um, yeah, reduce the risk of them getting coronary heart disease. Um, they should have they should maintain their diet, so they should have a low fat, high high fiber diet. High fiber around forty percent lower lowers the risk of coronary heart disease. This is because high fiber intake has also been linked to a lower risk of metabolic syndrome, a combin combination of factors that increases the risk of developing heart disease and diabetes. A high fiber diet includes plenty of fresh fruit and vegetables, around five portions a day and whole grains. Um, you, should you, should, you should limit the amount of salt you eat. You should avoid food containing saturated fats 
as they increase uh, low density lipoproteins, uh, LDL. Uh, in a balanced diet, it is recommended that you should have a little bit of unsaturated fat, as this decreases the chance of CHP, uh, e.g., nuts and seeds, oil and fish. Um, being more physically active reduces hypertension. Uh, regular exercise will make your heart and blood circulatory system more efficient, lowering your cholesterol level. Uh, this is how the um, industry tries to manage the risks. Uh, with smoking, there's the recent introduction of e cigarettes, and they deliver nicotine through a vapor rather than through tobacco smoke. So, this will also reduce your risk of stuff like cancer. But um, the positives include that there's no carbon monoxide because there's no smoke. They do still contain nicotine, and that's bad still because it can still increase your blood pressure. Also, they're not regulated, so some of the e-cigarettes may have more nicotine than others. Um, the big tobacco companies, such as British American Tobacco and others, actually paid 2.4 million on an advertising campaign to stop young people from smoking. Um, you've got big pharmaceutical companies like Nicorette, which uh, produce products to help you quit. You need to sort of double the chances of you quitting because you can control the dose of nicotine and gradually decrease that over time. Um, another factor was poor diet. Um, so there's many healthy living alternatives in the supermarkets nowadays to sort of give you the balanced diet and sort of decrease your risk of CHD. And you have the organisations such as Weight Watchers which do the same sort of thing. Uh, the government have introduced three NHS health checks to assess your risk of CHD. So those are the criteria that you sort of need to meet between 40, 40 and 74 years old and 40 and 64 years old. Um, these are very widely available for everybody because of course they're free and um, they just check your circulatory and vascular health to um, reduce your risk of developing heart disease at the end of it in, in the population. Um, by the end of 2015, the government wants to reduce smoking risk dramatically. Um, so by doing this, uh, TV and press advertising of smoking is banned, unless it's sort of anti-smoking. Um, Eye-catching displays in supermarkets have been banned, along with tobacco products being kept in concealed areas, must be in the uh, weight trading section. And, um, but promoting cigarettes is still possible in small stores, but it's all end by uh, April 2015. Uh, taxes are kept high to make it more expensive for the average person to buy cigarettes, which puts them off. Sort of puts off young people as well because they have a lower income. And um, to sort of stop this being pushed onto the black market, uh, new guidelines are being increased to uh, enforce the law against vape and smuggled tobacco. Uh, NHS run smoke free campaigns by um, Stocktober's coming up recently, which is sort of 28 days without smoking. And um, there was also a smoking ban in 2007, which stopped smoking in public places. These are the sort of standardised packets that have recently come in. Uh, the warning labels cover 65% of the pack with an aim to reduce the sort of admirability of smoking. Saturated fat guidelines. The saturated fats in increased blood cholesterol, particularly low density lipoproteins, because basically because cholesterol is a fat, it can't dissolve into the blood, and so it has to um, move around in the blood through either high density lipoproteins or low density lipoproteins. And low density lipoproteins basically means there's more fat in that molecule than protein, and these are the what's sort of known as bad cholesterol because they sort of they hit the artery walls and um, as cholesterol is one of the constituents of um, atheromas, which the plaques we talked about earlier, they actually increase your chance of getting fat on the inside of your artery wall, which hardens the artery wall. Um, NHS run Change for Life, which sort of combats poor diet and obesity. Um, and then we have the uh, National Institute of Health and Clinical Excellence, which wants 
to reduce the levels of salt in harmful fats in food because salt increases blood pressure, which links to the sort of damage that the uh, epithelium in the artery again. Um, clear food labelling, uh, limit on the number of takeaway outlets in certain areas, and further advertising restrictions, because these are all just sort of specifically set up to combat heart disease.